get Falco uh, up and coming. If he starts to travel, I think he can get, like, insane. Um, he's starting to beat people on Long Island, uh, like Kaon. Um, and I think he beat Animal recently, too. And he was just being me and friendlies, but, you know, it's a little bit different. But, like, I wouldn't expect him to not beat me at this point, you know? Yeah. He's playing a lot more. He's going to tournaments a lot more. So he definitely has the, the motivation to get better. So uh, he's definitely someone to look out for. Very good Falco. Intelligent. His combos are really good. And uh, he's very patient. I think he's, his, uh, his issues he had uh, back in the day, he's definitely worked upon. Like, he was very uh, baitable back in the day. So, like, if you want him to roll, there's definitely ways to make him roll. He didn't seem really like he was falling for any of that, but that's just based off me pure playing him and not really watching any of his sets. G-Money and Anti haven't come back in, so we will just commentate this until they come in. We'll have no problem leaving in case anyone's listening. Uh, so we're going to start off Dark Tooth and Kaon versus 42nd and 47. Two and a half chefs. So these are both static teams. They both play with each other. Um... Kaon and Darktooth being the newer of the teams. Uh, but they're definitely very good, respectable. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they do. I mean, Double Fox is an insanely good team, obviously. It's potentially the best team in the game. Ooh, Puff, Edgeguard. Ooh, messes up the turn around. <laughs> That's really good. Ooh, uh, all right. Very good by Darktooth. You can tell it's Darktooth because he has his girlfriend's name over his head as a tag. He's a cutie pie. Oh, 40 second. Uh, four, yeah, 40 second. Jeez, I'm going to screw that up a lot. <laughs> that was very good by uh, Dark Tooth to interrupt that because uh, Ken would have definitely died. Nice, right, so nice. Keep, keep away. Don't get cornered. Oh, Dead away from ledge. Ooh. See, instead of doing what he just did, eh, I guess it wasn't a terrible thing. Ooh, very nice. I was going to say that he could have um, kind of, like, got four seconds in the air. And Darktooth kind of just waited for uh, 47 to get back. And he could have, like, went on top of the platform with Darktooth and got the off air instead of kind of having to run all the way up there. So Keep him out. Oh, they definitely messed that up. They definitely could have done something. That was a lot of time. Solid play by two and a half chefs. Well, I didn't realize how one side this was. <clears throat> I like, just didn't even notice the stock count. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, they're playing very well. It sounds like Gene is coming now, so yeah. we're going to have to going after the smash. Nice. All right. So this is definitely uh, definitely decided, to be honest. I, I can't see. Yeah. Nope. Those jabs. Makes sense. Meaningful jabs. Is G Money coming in here? Oh. What are the team names? I really hope it's not like Long Island Cheese. Please, God, don't say that. That's what Kaon. I actually that hope that's what. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so upset. Or like Father and Son or some stupid. <laughs> uh, Kakarot's first nightmare, two and a half chefs. I honestly could not tell you. I have no idea. I could not. I guess the, the chef's thing, I guess, makes sense because they're cooking. But uh, Kakarot's Ooh. worse nightmare. Up throw into rest? Kakarot is not afraid of any. Marth. Oh! All right. Oh. Uh, that was really that. not smart of Dark Tooth. He definitely should not have went out there for a low percent turnaround, shine turnaround back here. I mean, it definitely was not worth it, especially with Marth right there, you know? If it would be one thing if, uh, you know, Marth was either completely hit across the stage. Oh, that was super tense, like chasing him down. For him. That could have ended so bad. I mean, it worked out. It's just those are things you want to like really be careful of because if you get into the habit of doing like something that risky, if you're versing a team that knows how to deal with certain things like that, you're definitely not going to be capitalizing on those. All right, good. They're uh, walling out for a second. Alright, so that was very good of 47. He went back. 
he uh, was in the territory of the Foxes and then ran back to Corey's uh, second. Oh, unfortunately, it's not working out now, but it was a good like reset for him. But then he ran back in, which is kind of weird. Ooh, oh, good double, double forward kill. smash kill. Let's go. That was huge. They really needed that. Ooh, that could have been a little Oh. oh. Okay. Nice. I, Very I really nice. like that. I found it interesting that Mark took him here, space. to be honest. This is a weird counter pick now that I think about it. So risky. Nice. I think this was a pretty good counter pick. Just more space for 47 and uh, 40 seconds or longer. I just think but the risk for Puff dying off the top is like a lot higher too. Oh. I don't know, I think I think it's an interesting counter pick. I, I I personally would have not picked this counter pick. It's very weird to me, but maybe they're comfortable on the stage, I'm not really sure. I also haven't I've only ever been a puff in teams. In a serious team without a Martha teammate, so yeah. See, so, I mean, like 84% dying off the top. Like, why? I think Dreamland might have been better if they want space. You know, I mean, if they wanted the no platform thing, I mean, I don't see how it really benefits this team that well. You guys ready? Oh. Wanna switch out? Yeah. It's fine, dude. Come on in. Welcome. What? 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 Welcome in, my dude. Yeah, you're signing off. Here's the money, guys. Later. Yeah, dude. His actual name is Tyler, though. <laughs> in case you, in case you wanted to know that. <laughs> Hey, I've known you all my life. Well, all my melee life. All my life. So this is G-Money. Up in here. What is this? A nice little setup. I'm liking this. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me catch up on what's going on here. So I was watching from outside. So we have Kaon and Dark Tooth, team two and a half chefs. Two and a half chefs. I don't The explanation that Yayo gave me was that they're cooking. Oh, okay. That's about it. I mean, Kakarot's the worst nightmare. It's two and a half of them. I don't even know. Oh, Ooh. that was a sick rest. Seeing a lot of run up smash from the red squad. Uh, they really weren't doing that too much the last two games, so. Only, yeah, just towards the end, because when they want the kill, like. Yeah. And, they uh, might be just wanting to get the. Yes, yeah, that was a horrible up smash. <laughs> yeah. Oh horrible. God. And, like, that was a horrible up throw. Why would he do that at the high percent that he's at? He should I mean, he probably it. didn't notice his team. Just, you know, oh. Yeah, but that's, like, the whole team awareness thing. Like, you really want to get – these are oh these are criticisms so that you get a little bit better at the game, you know? I mean, I, I understand. I'm just telling you why they're doing it. <laughs> well, in case they rewatch this, Ooh, uh, be more aware of your teammates, Gaz. I've definitely talked to both of you about that. <laughs> okay. That was, Cody, is, Cody is teaching, you know, two and a half teachers. I've definitely teamed with both of these guys. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of oh, that's kind of how it is. Um, generally speaking, like across the board, across the spectrum, you know. Yeah. Um, actually, I teamed with Anti today. I um, I was worried about like you know he doesn't he plays Smash Four like you know how are we gonna do? Yeah. Um, but no, he he understands those like little foundations. What, what I said literally just before your match started was that it's. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Anti does, because I know you play teams, obviously, in this. This is your main, or that's your main like you know, niche for this. But Anti is also a very well-established like Smash 4 and doubles player. Right. I'm not sure how well it transferred over to this. It seemed like it did pretty well, but uh, there's definitely like technical things that he needs to work on. For sure. Right. I mean, he's, he's not a melee head, but yeah. Yeah, he's, he's just good enough and understands it. Yeah, he's a good, smart player, so he understands how to like be a teammate. Yeah, so like in teams... A really good thing to do is just to learn how to take advantage of things and to learn how to let some things go. Yeah. So to learn like what's worth. Oh my goodness, kicks. So so right now they should have go. They should have went super ham while the partner is recovering. But yeah. just be careful because these jigs. Oh damage, damage. Okay. Oh. Oh. My That's goodness. a bad pound. Sorry for a second. Oh. 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 Nah. Oh. Okay, that was that was a good throw. Oh my Ooh, goodness, that would be cute. Ah, uh, I think that's it. Just a little too much. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that should be a oh, he's trying to style. Yeah, he's trying to yeah. style. Oh, oh alright. Oh, smash. At least they finish it. Yeah. Two and a 
Alright, this tournament is looking pretty dope. Yeah, um, they have a, a pretty good team.